and you don't have Wi-Fi because you don't have a common maker or common wire, well, this is the Google Nest common maker. So that you have yourself Wi-Fi to your Nest thermostat without having a common wire, even with the most complicated zone valve situation. This is just for heating only here at this house. Let me show you on this one here. You're gonna wanna open up the instruction manual to the heating only system. And as you can see, R and W are going to connect it down here to the controller to these two here. And it's actually labeled on the device, the R and W. So those are going to be your thermostat connection. This is probably the most complicated system that I could show you this on. Extremely old wiring. It's a rat nest, but you wanna find the wire that comes down from your thermostat. Of course, there's only two leads and that's why you don't have a common. But these two, the R and W, we we'll call it red and white, R and W, connect to the two gray that are labeled R and W, just like this, and are right here, R and W. Those are gonna to connect to where the thermostat leads come down, as in the book. I took these off of the input to your zone valve. That's gonna send power down to the zone valve to open up the zone valve on this Taco three-wire zone valve. We're obviously not worried about taking that wire off and taking the white wire off, which also connected with the common power side, because that's what, when that thermostat closes, it powers up this through a 24 volt circuit. That is going to still happen because we have these additional wires that are going to get 24 volt power. And then when this thermostat closes, closes a relay inside of this, which will now operate the zone valve itself. And I'll show you how to do that. It's a bit complicated, stay with me. So we just took care of the R and W, and now we're gonna hook up a common to the common side. This here is the common side. Even though they're red, that's the common side of your zone valve. So I'm making myself a strand, and I'm going to bundle all the commons together on that one common terminal. The rest is just the R and the W that we have to hook up. The W is going to go to the top of that zone valve, where the thermostat wire originally came down and connected to. That is powering up the motor inside the zone valve. And then that bottom wire was the common. That's what makes that motor activate. And the red is the 24 volt supply power to this controller. So if you connect the W to the top of the zone valve, that'll energize the zone valve. Connect your common to the middle terminal where I put the pigtail on and bundle all those up together. And then run your wire from your transformer 24 volt to the R to power up this controller.